Hello everyone, this is Jim Walker, the Hack Repair Guy. Well, if you're watching this video, you're probably considering installing the Hack Repair Guy's plugin archiver. So, you may ask, why was this plugin created? Well, in my day-to-day -day work cleaning malware from hacked websites, I sometimes run into a situation where, after updating WordPress, a plugin would break the website, causing a white screen or other crazy error message. Well, this left me with a bit of a problem. Uh, in deactivating the plugin in question, the plugin itself remained activated within the plugin's list, and sometimes that's a problem, because occasionally a new administrator will wander on by and install that bad plugin and break the website, and then, well, blame me. <laughs> so I decided one day I should create a new plugin called the Hack Repair Guys Plugin Archiver. Okay, so there you go. Now you know why. So let's take a quick tour of the Hack Repair Guys plugin archiver. I'm going to go ahead and install the plugin and then archive a plugin. Well, here we go. So let's start by clicking Add New in the plugins list. I know you know this, but I'll do it really quickly for you. Uh, type in the search box the Hack Repair Guys plugin archiver and then hit the Enter key and then click on Install Now. Okay, so now I'll click the Activate Plugin link. And let's work through archiving a plugin. We'll start with the first one. We'll click Archive. And by clicking Archive, it actually puts the plugin into its own directory. And we're going to be able to view this by clicking the Archive Plugins. And you'll see there it is. And click the Unarchive link to bring it back. So with the plugin restored, when you click the plugins licks, magically it'll be back where it was before. Now I'm going to take you a little bit more advanced. We're going to create multiple backup directories. I'm going to go to settings and then plugin archiver. Let's create a quick uh, second backup directory. Backup one. And then we have to make sure we choose it though before we hit the save button. So here we go. Forgot. I need to click that a button. I need to choose that new backup directory and save it first. Now, once I've saved it, then I can go ahead and, and add, archive different plugins, and the new plugins will placed into that particular new archive directory. And when I click on archive plugins, it should show it within that directory. So you can see we have two directories. One is archive, and one is backup one. We're currently in backup one. And I took the liberty of adding a couple of other uh, plugins in the other directory previously. Again, just showing you where the settings are at. And we're going to go ahead and archive another one. And notice there are two plugins in the archive directory. That was the default directory. And then one plugin in the Oops, or there's no plugins because I removed it, remember? Then we go back to the archive directory and there they are again. So, we've completed checking and, and putting the plugins to those other directories. Now we're going to go back into settings. And notice there's still those two backup directories there. That's pretty important. I'm reiterating this a couple of times just so you remember that you have to select the archive directory before you can add a new plugin to it. So let's go ahead and archive the uh, plugin again and check our archive plugins list. And you'll see we have one plugin in the uh, backup one directory and two plugins in the original default archive directory. And look how easy it is. Just going to click the unarchive button. We're going to put that back. And there it is. So let's go back to the archive plug, ar the plugin archiver notes. 
And I have a few author notes in here in case you're curious. And of course the obligatory donate link. So if you found by a plug-in helpful, then you know please donate a few dollars for the cause.